and welcome back to Rice Life USA. Today we will be seeing how the Bucky will be getting its fixed. By the way, because it blew a gasket, I won't say who blew it, but that person is currently uh, over there. He's not showing his face due to unforeseen circumstances. But next, just in. Coilies has been fitted. Everything is working on the Bucky, but will it start? But will it start? And we will. What's old faithful? Reporting live from the Rice Life pathway, garage, whatever we call it. And let's get back to JP so this work can be done. If the Bucky don't start, I almost forgot. Don't go cut springs. Cut springs is not live sir. Hello Vernia, where are you going? We sit here. Thank you very much and stay tuned. Pistons all cleaned up, we use some plexum and a wire brush. So now we need to get the other two piston two and three up so we can give them a clean. To show them how dirty it is the inside the cylinders. From what it used to look like, <laughs> look like it's a dark hole. No? <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna turn them up and give them a clean and then we're gonna fit the head. We just assembled the head down now. Put the carburetor on, put the cam and the rocker arms in. So that's all done. Oh, we just to find the hole. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> so I was starting with the 22 span at the bottom of the crank, but Jerry came up with a genius idea to just turn this pulley over here, and it's actually working. <coughs> Anybody for some Nutella? <laughs> sure. Not even wrong. Alright. So now, close this up. Now we just have a bit of black sim. Let it eat on that stuff so long. Some thick black sim. Yeah, nice. So the black sim, this one. <laughs> Concentrate. So my own booty on it, that's why. Is it wire brush? Is it wire brush? No. Do you want to be in the video? Yes. People want to see me, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, this shit looks like it's not gonna work. It's gonna work. I have a bit of faith, me, bro. Nicely. Mm. It's not as bad though as that one. It's getting there. I suppose. Getting there. Oh, some casket here. And I get all that rough polishes. That shit was bunt on here, bro. Mm -hmm. Bunt, bunt, bunt. Yeah, it's decent, man. At least the valve seats are decently cleaned. I think this is gonna be cleaned a bit more. We got the 
the weight gasket that's going on. I didn't actually blow by the weight gasket. I actually blew by the carburetor, the water channels in the carburetor, but I'll show you guys once I put the head on here. Cardboard box out there and put it down. Yeah, but I just put it down here, so I put the box out. It's just two bolts that you're taking out. Yeah. What? Yeah. I must remove. Because we put the one pipe on here, then we know where it must go. Because once it's on here, everything else must line up. You can just see, you know. Where's that pipe, you know? Let's look at the little to the back. Oh. Turn it around. Yes. It goes in here. It goes in there. Probably there like that. It goes in there. Mm. That's the spirit. That's the thing we're missing. Where is the thing? To there. It's on the thing. Oh, on the, is that where the... Yeah. yeah. Let's just put this on quickly. Bricks. Right around two. So I think they eat. Hold it. I'm going to sit on the gasket now. All the studs are in. Let's turn them in tight. Okay, yeah. And there we go. Yeah. So there it is all talked up. I'll drop a photo in the video for you guys who are looking for the talk settings. Don't have to waste your time looking on Google for them. I'll post a picture of it now. There's the talk sequence, there's the amount of newtons, everything in there. So that should help you out. I'm sure you all know how to use a torque wrench. So I'm also going to show you that, so I'll just throw it up there quickly. So now it's just to fit the... The pro... <laughs> I've only got side rolls on this thing out. This car boys. I mean this fit this cover. This is like a heat shield thing that they got going on here. It should fit straight on there. Upside down. Yeah, upside down. Okay, so I started on cleaning the tappet cover now. Again, we'll be using the one and only Blixum. I just sprayed it on there, I barely even scrubbed this yet, and it's already lifted all the greases inside here. Okay, so that's what it looks like once I'm done with the Blixum and the toothbrush. Yeah, I couldn't really get in the crevices over there, but uh, yeah, that should be clean and decent enough to get it all cleaned up and sprayed. So I'm going to turn over to the other side now. So let's start on the side. that soak for a while.
so at this point whoever was helping me today or yesterday has left already <sighs> been trying to get this thing's timing in and we are just not having it with, with the whole day yesterday okay today is the following day so yesterday we were trying the whole day to get the timing correct we just couldn't get it i don't know what is happening but i did some research uh throughout the evening <coughs> and uh uh, I did it according to how they said it should be done. So I'm gonna give it a swing and see what happens. This thing needs to start though, honestly. Um, yeah. I don't know. Let's see what it does. I'm gonna give it a quick couple of swings. Hopefully this thing starts. I don't know. Come on! I'm so happy that this thing started right now because this is the only other vehicle that we have here at home. So if this thing is standing in my car. Is, my car got to go to work. You know what I mean. So now this thing is back up and running. Uh, trust me, there were hours of footage of us not getting this thing started. I just went on Google. This is the F2 uh, motor and. Uh, few things came up there, there was a forum for it, so it was a forum, and then yeah, I followed that, they said I should, you'll see on the cam gear, I didn't, I didn't include it now, but on the cam gear, there's a number one marking, showing where TVC is, and then uh, they said I should just move that 6 degrees back, and on the distributor there are two punch marks, and I should just uh, line those two punch marks up, and the gear will turn 6 degrees back as well, the distributor inside. The router, so good work. Anyway, guys, uh, I was not include in this video uh, the winner of the T-shirt. I'm glad that I got such good feedback from you guys with regards to the style of T-shirt. I'll probably I'll still be adding a few other things like maybe a YouTube button over here and things like that. It's just still a very basic, just plain just off the top kind of designer I think but uh, I'll probably include it in my next video where or whoever will be the winner so that should be end of the week hopefully Thursday I'm gonna try and push the Thursday uh, yeah so hope you guys like this video if you did give it a like and if you are not subscribed yet please hit subscribe button see you on the next one peace